laughing at the Israel. It's the laughing at the Israeli, the Israeli fate telling him to surrender. He's laughing at the guy. And a few hours later, he's surrounded. He gets a 72, whatever. What was this? Hamas? Yeah. What, they, 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 the terrorists are telling to surrender? They're telling the terrorists to surrender. And he's laughing? And he's laughing in their face. This is that, like a few hours later. Pardon. What do they do? They blow up the whole house. Yeah. It's good. Trick shot. You have to say it's going to take you 20, 25 minutes to rebuild that place. When, I did it. <laughs> when they will go down to the bunker, 30, 40, 50 meter down, and whoever, forever up would cross also. Yeah, the the if they have in the ground something, and under here, they have the bunker. They will go. One, so f- forever is the up there going down also. Yeah. So no building. Right? No, even my grandma. If you remember, what Coco East Jerusalem looked like in 1948, 1957. First of all, look like what the Indians took over. <laughs> Okay, let's hope they don't stop. Nice. Finish to the end. Oh, man. Nice. to say it, nice, right? Uh, funny. Best, Someone best just got off the phone with me discussing this with me. It best, says from... Best, so, no, yes. Huh? So, so it's about, about, it's it's right. It's in, they say it from 12 till 4 o'clock in the morning in Israel. They, they want to say the Tehillim 5,000 times. The whole really? So we're giving to everyone. In America. But the timing is it's Israel time. Yeah, it's normally we don't, but it's a serious situation, we say. Right. Because most of the fight is the night in Israel. Yeah. Most of the fight, yeah. Middle of the night. Yeah. From 12 to 4 or 5 o'clock. Okay. Oh, yeah? Hmm. No. Well, let's it's see easier the for them to go in. Help they able to get the hostages yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not. Well, it's not. There's also a joke with the woman. Shmulik, shalach lein flashlight. Okay. There's also a joke with the woman that work in the garbage can. Right. Okay, <laughs> Rabbi Isai. Kit. I see we have some people joining us on Zoom. We are going to take a look at Hilchas B'tziyas Apas, which is Simen Kuf Samach Vav in Shulchan Aruch. Page Tuf Membeis. Dine Bitsias Hapas. Loi Omru Takef Lunatil Sidaim Suda. Kazal Imbroches told us that Takef Lunatil Sidaim Suda. Right after you wash, you should go to the Suda. The point of it was The point was that you should not make a hefsik in between a mighty by something which causes a hesachadas. Even to make kiddush to be moizig the kois. There was a concept of those days of Mezigas Hakois. We don't know what this concept is today. They would dilute the wine with water. And they would dilute it with hot water. And there was a special way they do it exactly enough, not more, not less, or it's going to ruin the wine. Too much, it's going to be diluted too much, too little. It's still going to be too strong, the wine. So even that is considered a hesech adas because you're busy thinking how I'm going to do it and your mind is no longer on the suda. But also, I say, anything similar. However, once the Alter Rebbe to clarify that take it from the Tizadayim, the suda does not tell you that if you didn't say, Mat Masih Das, if you sat bottle, not doing anything, that it's a hesech das. I will aim Yoshev bottle. Okay, 
We're going to see the second opinion soon. Um, you have your tables in front of you, and your mind is to eat. But that you're having a whole conversation. If someone would just say a little few words, it's not a hesachadas. Rabbi, I have on the table, I used to have there 50 people. I wash, I wash the people the hand. I have to wash the last one. I can't wash and then tell people to wash. Be another 10 minutes till I make a motion. Yes, probably you should wash the last. Yeah. Last one, right? Yes, somebody told me that I used to wash first and then help people. Say, no, no, wash the last one. Let people see that and then make a motion. Therefore, Minik Ashkenaz, they make Kiddush and Abdullah after the Tila Sadaim before Amaitzi. So there is no Hefsik over here with this. Is Chazal, when they said take care from the Tila Sadaim Suda and the Gemara Brachas, never meant to say that you can't do this. They meant they don't do things which are going to cause you to Messiah Das. Doing Kiddush is not a problem. Well, they are to take it from the materials they die in Bracha, the Mayim Achreinim of Ad. Only by Mayim Achreinim do we say that right after Mayim Achreinim is also Gemara and Brachas. You should go straight to the Bracha, to Bechas Amazon. So there, that's by Mayim Achreinim. Mashiach Kain, Tiel Sidaim for Suda, doesn't say in Tiel Sidaim, take it, Tiel Sidaim Bracha, you say the Bechas Hamoitzi. Tiel Sidaim Suda. As long as I don't make a hesa chadas to the suda, it's okay. That's the first shita, which Al Tareba brings what we call bestam. When he doesn't say yesh oimim, he says bestam. This is the halacha. Or then he tells us the yesh oimim. Others say other rishonim shagam b'mayim rishonim sarich lizar k'mayim achreinim. You have to be mizayir the same. Say amru atekif. Because Chazal in Yerushalmi say that Hatoike from the Tilsi Dayim Bracha, oh, Shalalechem. Someone right after you do the Tilsi Dayim, you should, if you right away say the Bracha, I might see right after Tilsi Dayim, any Nizik Bechol Yisuda, that Suda is going to be peaceful. Because my machreinim ashahoya kvar hoya, you already finished the suda, so we're going to promise you uh, that any nizik bechol hasuda, the suda was already. So this gemara yishalmi, which is brought in the rush, in our gemara yishalmi doesn't has a different nusach. Says ein hasata mekatelik ba isa suda, but similar idea. It's in yishalmi. So based on this yishalmi, he say some of the yishalmi. That Mayim and Yishayim should be also like Mayim Achreinim. The fear of Tzar and Yizar should be half the kafilu b'shehiya, k'de hiluch beis am chop beis amo. Should be shehiya zeh nikra hefsik afilu yoshev in the koyim. That you shouldn't even wait the amount of time it takes to walk twenty four amis. Some of you, let's say twenty people on the table, and we give Mayim Achreinim one to the other. Then we get to the last one. What's one already waiting? It's a good point. My machrin, you different things, though, no? My machrin today is not, is not as, as, as much of a chiv. It's still chayba, it says the Gemara. Until today, you're making an absence. But we don't have Melech Sadoimis now, it's not as. But for my Marishoinim, he's saying that this sheet is saying, had that same thing like my machrinim. And that you shouldn't wait. In the first sheet that said, there's no problem to wait as long as you want, as long as you're not Messiah Das. Right. The second sheet is more Machmer. Based on the Gemara Yishalmi, the Rishayim want to say, Yishayim want to say that you shouldn't wait even Kedei Hilo Chop Zamba. For the Yishim Kami, you didn't walk anywhere, but shouldn't wait that time it takes to walk 22 Amis. Rabbi, for my Machonim, we have a sentence to say before, my Machonim Chova. That's what I say that before. That's what they say, those yeah. words. Right. That's the wording. And here it says, I didn't realize it's here. Huh? I thought it was a joke. 
אין לי ג'וק. I do it, עושה מים אחרונים חובה, אין לי עוד מים אחרונים. פעלה דן מנג. שלא לצייניך, that's a לצייניך. ושלא לצייניך, אין להפסיק אפילו בשהייה מאתס. He shouldn't wait even a little bit. Oladaber to talk, even if you want to speak Dibri Torah, you can't talk according to the second Shita. The second Shita is also discussing Maim and Hashanim, but it's saying we're comparing Maim and Hashanim to Maim and Hashanim. You can't make Havdalim between either. Kiddush, by the way, even the second sheet would allow you to say Kiddush after and feel Sadaim. This Kiddush is Me'ingen Hasoda. It's Me'ingen Hasoda. Havdalah is nothing to do right. But Havdalah is not Me'ingen Hasoda. Right. Yeah, I think so. What's this Brach Maruba that he's talking about? Like Havdalah. Uh, Havdalah, it's not making an Asuda. Mm. It's a Mavdal. It's, it's, you don't need to... Yeah. Unless the Yachna has scared to get slanted. Right. So, it comes out that only the first day of holes that you're allowed to interrupt for Kiddush. For, for Havdalah also. Mm-hmm. Second day it says you can't. Mm-hmm. And we don't need to say that of course the Hapsa to, to speak Divrei Choyal. Mm-hmm. Um, now, by the way, when we say over here that you were, you should not be mafsik, um, we said, that this is a half sick of waiting, is only when it's shaloy letzoy of the suda that you're waiting. Um, Meaning this letzayrech that you wait, that you're waiting shehia kadei hilu chapeis ama, it could be you're doing it for a need for a tzayrech. But shalei letzayrech means that there's no need at all. We're gonna go see soon that tzayrech hasuda is not considered a hefsek at all. So when he said over here, he said there's two cases that you should desire like a hefsek even kashia kadei hilu chapeis ama. Then he says, Shaloy Lutzayda. No, 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 all, all Maim Vishoyim. He just starts off saying that this Yesh Oymim says that just like we say by Maim Achroyim, take it from the Tilo Sedayim, Bracha, same thing, Maim Vishoyim. Okay. And this whole thing is talking Maim Vishoyim. We learn out Maim Vishoyim the same din. Well, so Maisa, what's an Achroyim? The first is a lot of talk in between. You're allowed to talk in between a little bit. Sichamat, which is not Masih Das. You're only not allowed to do uh, something, a Maisa or a long talk, which makes you Masih Das from the Suda. Because take of the Tiel's Daim Suda just means that you should not make a Hesach Das. If I'm not doing something that, that creates a Hesach Das, I can do that in between. So that's why you can do Kiddush, you can do Havdalah, you can talk a little bit, Masih Ma'at. He says, um, but you can't do something which is a Messiah das from the Sud. You're allowed to say the yes. second sheet says, no, we're very machmer, just like my machroinim, that you have to write, a, we're much more machmer, and you can't talk at all, even to Vritoira, even a bracha which has no shaykhis, like Havdallah, has no shaykhis of the Sud, only Kiddush you could make. Um, and you also can't sit around and wait. Yoshe bottle and just wait if there's no um tzaydik for the su'uda, the shihiyah of kadei hilo chafes amma. Mikal makim, the tap of tafam gimel. I'm sorry, I just finished the last three words on the bottom of the page. Toiv lachash devein. It's best to be concerned for the second opinion's words and not to talk at all. That's what we do. We we, we shushka everyone and uh, make sure they don't talk, right? Mm-hmm. Like the second opinion, because like the first opinion, you could say a few words. Mm-hmm. 
even according to the second opinion, says the Alter Rebbe, you only need to be cautious to discuss something else. I will see the Alma, Beza Gimel Tevas, Einen Chashudan Hefsak, the Hak Al Fim, Amai Machroinim, Kim Shein Bahmin Shalom. If I said two, three words, that is called a Sicha Ba'alma. It's not considered I, I gave over a concept, an idea. I said two, three words. That will not be a hefsik, even according to the second opinion. You're allowed to answer yes or no. If he doesn't answer... But Maise in the Alter Rebbe, in the Siddur, the Seydim Til Sedayim, there he writes that even he shouldn't talk at all. The Seydim Til Sedayim. And he says in Halakha Vav, Um now he he said this in the Siddur he seems more machmer. He said of Sarachizarm of Sibatan Filo Sikha Kalo. Even a light sicha, have a little made loy nachin. You should not. I feel a little made the even to learn, and not appropriate in between the tivos sedayim, and and seoda. Now, um, someone left the base hakise. When. After the Siddhan? Before, he, he, after Kiddush. Or before the Siddhan to the Sudha. He, he just went to the bathroom. He washed his hands uh, to make a Shri He tried and then washed his hands. The Rebbe says that, okay, so people wash their hands. They, 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 they wash their hands. They say, they wash their hands a little bit, say Shri and they wash again for the Sudha. Right. But Min Hadin, the Alter Rebbe says, yeah. You're allowed to say Asher Yatzer after until Sidaim. After? After. I only wash once. Basically, what happens if you made a mistake and you washed your hands after the bathroom, you washed a proper Natila? You washed a proper Natila. So you can make Al Natil Sidaim on that. But you didn't make Asher Yatzer yet. Huh? It's still your body, still Tomer. It's a little bit of a problem. You see, it's a little problem to make two Natil Sidaim. Two, two, the, you already oh, washed what? your hands. Your hands are all are, are now long, no longer tummy. You really, you should make a matil sedayim on it because you're going to the suda. So you're going to wash, then you're going to say hamoitzi, and and then you're going to hashiyatza. Then you're going to wash your hands again and say matil sedayim. But you already just made it. You just washed your hands. A What's different the, wash. Not a different wash. Your hands are all tahir. They didn't touch anything in between. They're all clean. But mitzias, your hands are are you were noitel yedayim for the suda already. In such a case where you're noitel six times after the bathroom, you say Amatila Sidaim, then you could say Ashi Yatza. Because it's Amatila, it's from Yeah, say Ashi Yatza. It's not time. considered a half sick between the Sidaim and the Sidaim. That's what he says in the Seder. My minute gets to wash. Like, for the two and two, two and two. And for after the bathroom, you do six times. But if you do more than the. <laughs> wouldn't be after the bathroom, just do six times. No, we do. They do three, three. Yeah. Actually, yes, so we do three, three. Three, three. Yeah. three. Two, three. No, two, three. 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 Two, but if I say that's a bad another problem. Oh oh no. Huh? Oh no. No, somebody asked you something. I say. It's not asking. Why all the mini gays that we don't say anything? 
But you see the Ikra Halacha, what it is. Umeyin has Sudavit Sarcheha, the fourth line on page Tafim Gimel. Umeyin has Sudavit Sarcheha. If you talk about things of the Suda in between, Hamaitzi and Afton to Sudaim, any Chosh of Hefsek, I feel a bein Hamaitzi la Chilo. Even if you already made Hamaitzi, you didn't take a bite yet, it's not a Hefsek. Kol Shekein bein a Tilo la Hamaitzi, which is less of a Hefsek, less of an issue. Definitely, the walking, the the time it takes to wipe your hands to clean, to walk to the table, and to walk to the table, it's not a, it's not a problem. Now. Do you have a sink? Next Im you have a sink. Im Efsher. Shkemoi she tzorich in zah koish l'kidu v'cham and tzorich until the rehakol. Av bish ha-kidish tzorich. So everyone agrees that even minik Ashkenaz that you make the Kiddush um, in between after until the day before Moitzi you still pour the cup it's still better to pour the cup before Whatever you could make less kiddish, even the kiddish is sarah chasuda. Kimi she efshu lins and kaidem manatila. Do it before. I feel the chatchila motel hasid sarah chasuda until the lamaitzi. Him shacha chalehem kaidem manatila. How we should also be lamaitzi lachila. Even though the chatchila we don't make a hefsek, but sarah chasuda, like we just said. Um, however, if you did forget about it, then you need to to tell someone. Make a hefsek to go bring it. You can do it between tila and amaytzi. Chemisha neig espal choyim a mezayin ekedem atfila shkasa mezayin akadosh shachel espal koyim tila. Some have the minik to daven for their mazin every day before the sud, like it says in the zayir. Um, and he forgot to say it before the netila. What do the hefsek bekach bein netila hamaytzi? I'm not sure. Maybe some have the minik to do this. Right, brought in the shala. Um, we do say it, by the way, on Shabbos, but we don't say it, we say it before. We say that Mizma, but every Suda. I don't know during the week who has the meaning to say this. Mizma David Hashem Rei Lo Yachser. No, no, we say it all three. Um, you say about Shalosh and, and the Siddur, the Rebbe Siddur has by all the three times. Mm-hmm. I, why are they saying it in between? You, you should say it before. Even though Sarah has, so he says, that since it's Me'ingen Hasuda and Koidem, then Tilsi Daim, a lot of times your hands are not clean. So we're not going to you to wash your hands before in order to say the Mizodav Hashem, wash your hands one time for the Tilsi Daim, say Mizodav, and then go to. Until to a mighty. Sfaradim say Mizmor le David before Kiddush. I start my Kiddush and Mori David, and then I make. By all the three Sodot, you say. Also in Chabad, what? Chabad night. the middle is sing the you sing the song right okay you see but lapoil everyone manages to get it into the somewhere to say it friday night this is part of davening and it's not it's not in the soda it doesn't right but before and before and before kiddish is it brought it's Ashkenaz and the city. I never heard Nus, of that. This that's Nus that you're looking at? Yeah, that's Faradim. Look at Faradim. Look at the, what the... Right, the, yeah, yeah, most of the Olam. So Kumta is like this. You see, many times you go to Hassan Halls, and you see that the place where they wash the time is not right next to the hall. 
you see a little basket next to it, and they put little pieces of the challah there. A lot of restaurants do it. A lot of restaurants. You're, you worked in a lot of restaurants. Yeah, and these, yeah. They have it. We used to cut every morning, go in my one container and put it here. All right, okay. What is this based on? Is it based on this? There's a problem with that. It's because the people in the restaurants are very machmim and hagim, and over here it says that l'chatchila it's not a little yad of sam al-chamakim asudim efsher. So your sud is now in a different place. So best to make it as close as possible. But etzem l'payol walking l'tzayich the sud is not a problem. It's not a hefsek. Tzayich asuda. If you could. So we're here, they're giving you eight. Uh, it's interesting that they're so makbid in this. Uh, the, you know, I wouldn't think they would be so makbid. But... So is making a on the shalom? Ah, that's a good shy, though. What's the It's a good point. Make a um, whole piece of, like, or whatever it is. Not, oh. It's asking that the din is, it's better to make hamoitzi on a shalom. On a... Oh. But over here, they're giving a shtickle, not a shalom. That's a good point. Oh, it's possible. Now you're reminding me, now you're metadits to me. I remember that I saw once one of the, the Mashrim and Chabad taking his whole bilkula with him. And after he washed, it was like for Fabreng, and after he washed, he leaned on the thing over there and he was eating uh, his kazayas over there. And then he went to the Mokim. And they make on the shalom by next to the Amritzi, next. Yeah, yeah. Sure, That's a good shayla because over there we're going to mitzvah Shem learn. Um, Why has to be shalom? It's a mitzvah amufcher lavara chalapas kishi shleima. My favorite. It's a mitzvah. I used to make a hamotzi. I have two big big chalachim. I have to slash sixty uh, slots. Oh, because you made the bracha on the whole. And then the you made on the shalom. You made on the shalom. I didn't give each one. Are they yaitza from you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Over here, you're getting a little piece of. He's saying that the restaurants and the chasana halls. The small pieces, yeah. They're not going to give them each a, a full piece. Yeah. So he's saying, yeah, you're now you're not getting having a shalom. So what overweighs what? The trying to mahader that you shouldn't make a, 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 any hefsek at all and have your piece right away, but then you're losing out the mile of having a shalom. So I like this. Uh, I like this kashit. Oh, That's a good kasha. You, can you have to ask Abim Razov. He's very big bucky, I think, in his halachas. You can take the small piece, eat it, don't talk, go and take the bilka. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. The house. Yeah, the shop, like over here. The kitchen where you wash is in the next room. So, uh, how about my sukkah? Sukkah gets into a bigger issue, yeah. You bring, you no, you bring the negimasa to wash it next to your place. Oh, That's Mahadran. So I had a yid who told me Elter the yid he was Elter the chassid he's ready in Eilu Mahamis his nifter in COVID and he was telling me that and the Alter ever writes in the previous page in the second sheet he writes in the parentheses in halach me base the bais acher nikar hefsek afiyalech mat he said going from the sukkah people go into the house they wash from and they wash from and they come back into the sukkah you walked out of the house so you tiny that as a hefsek the only problem with what he was saying was. That it seems from later on that if it's soirich hasuda, it's okay. This is all talking about when you're doing it with soirich, but not with soirich hasuda. Later on, he's saying if it's sudan sarcheha, he, he, he wanted mechalik, he wanted to learn something else different over here. He was very bothered. I told him over here, you're not, ha- you're not being yoitzu the chatzila. So, luti of samach hasuda. In Efshabi, you can't, you're in the sukkah. You, Okay, some people do it. They do is they bring the the netilas into the sukkah. They bring a shisel or they or they have this. They, they run they run the water in. I bring the sink. The sink. Yeah, this is that. I feel like a king. You know? So you have the you hose. Wish. You sink with the hose. Yeah, and yeah. Then... For a drain from inside. Yeah, outside. It's an outside sukkah. Okay. It's like a mukhubat. I went to your sukkah. It's like the next room. Right. So that you can maybe tie it. It's like another room because you built an additional room to your house. If it's attached to the house and the doorway goes into the sukkah, like you have on the porches, so then you could tie it. You never left the bias. This is another room. You did construction. You added a room to the house. So it's 
the cheder the cheder is a bias. It's different. I, I had my sukkah out of the in the porch, but the kitchen is right there. You open the door, you go to the sukkah. It, uh, it was right next door to each other. Well, yes, yeah, that's the kitchen. You have a door here, and the sukkah is right here. There was no space in between. Directly into the sukkah, you left. Yeah, just open the door. Okay. So people wash here, the sink is here, and we put it. I don't know. It doesn't seem to me from here that it's a problem in Hadid. You if know? you could wash your hand and see the table from the place where you wash, it's better. Let's say you have two sinks. On the sink that we yes. wash, you could see the table we're eating, it's yeah. better. Yeah, we can see it. It's always open. No, I'm saying, if you have a chance to wash well, it's much way. better as your way that you have the sink in That's... the sink. It's a uh, mehadim min a mehadim. Your sukkah, it's all the way in the back. You have to go out. <coughs> yeah. Okay, right there. Kuf samach zayin, mokim u bitzman ha bitzia, u mi hu ha bitzia. Donald Trump became president, his daughter invited him to... Friday night, she's Jewish. Ask him why. So at least he shouldn't talk between a moist and Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is that? His daughter is Jewish. Yeah. So they asked him why they invite you, your father, for, for Friday night. He said, at least he shouldn't talk between Kiddush and the moist. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a different note that, that she said he, that they, they asked him, he said, do you ever, do you ever not talk? Right. He said only once a week. He's invited his daughter for then. He doesn't can't <laughs> talk cute. in the middle. It's, it's the only cute. time can't uh, talk. I was picturing it. again all over the news. He okay. doesn't know how to stop talking. But right. Basically, it's a schweigel. Mitzvah asay min hatayra. Levarich es Hashem acher achilos mazen shenemer v'chalta savata oveirach es Hashem v'goymer. You always write for Goimer, because when you don't finish a Pasuk, you don't, you don't pull up Sukkah the Lepeskin, and Moshe and Nan Lepeskin. The Pasuk that Moshe did not divide, make a, a Hefsik, we don't make a Hefsik. So we always complete the Pasuk. If you can't, you don't complete, you write for Goimer and conclude to the ending. According to the Benish Mai, it's my Minag home also, you don't cut the Chala with the knife, it's a Litzoa at the Barish. Litzoa, it's to take a piece in your hand. So you don't use a knife, Ramayti? No, we don't use a knife. No knife. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I, I slice it. Slice it. I slice it. Like, uh, like an open one. And, and when I used to be in my big house right? there, I used to you do that, cut with it. the knife. But at home, no, with there's like people. a knife that you open it, a chale, and special for that. No, they have one that they don't want to use with, um, with they want to use a knife that's not without any pegimis. Yeah. That pegimis. Like, yeah, it's not easy to cut with that such so knives, but the uh, so you could get a sharp one. It's easier, but it's not the same. Uh-huh. But the Zanin was shown at night to use a brain knife. So for, just for Roshan at night, the first night at school for Panosa. Mm-hmm. But usually they take the the old hard. And then people don't make the just knife. Just do like this and then cut it slice. But you don't slice. You pull a piece for everyone. You give everyone a piece because it said it's so. Otherwise, it's like tough. So for the betzia, it's in the hand. But this is from the very shy. No, my father loves him. But it's time to go. Okay. Not when I have a lot. But even if so, if they're lavarich lifnei kol akilos sia, amru. Chazal said, "Im kishu saveya mevarech, kishu roiv lo kol shekain." If you made a bracha, you have to thank Ben Shashem when you're full, when you're hungry. For sure, you should. V'chol anenem meilam hazeh b'loy bracha, ilu nenem mikotchei shemaim. Shem Hashem haritz meloya. The world belongs to Hashem. It's all kilo hektish. So if you want to have a no, you have to say a bracha. Do you Hashem need a bracha? That's a question of all the brachas. Why b'chlal do we bench Hashem all the time? Otherwise, he, looks he needs the bracha. Your bracha is going to do give something to Hashem. Otherwise, he's like stealing. Connection, connection to Hashem. 
רוב תוהם, אליאס פומישן, כן, הייתי. סוגי צחוק סדס, כן, הייתי. כן, רבא, שבועית. So Siddha says that Baruch Ata Hashem, the Baruch is Miloshin Hamavrich as a Gefen. That Baruch means that from the Mishnah says when you want to uh, uh, put a plant, a tree branch into the ground to grow, so you take the branch of the tree, you bend it down, you stick it in the ground, and then it grows on another tree. Now, so it says the word Mavrich, because the word Mavrich, that you're bringing down. So Baruch Atah Hashem, we're trying to bring down HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Shekhinah, into the world. The Yachet Kut Shabir Hashem, trying to bring it down, that's the Yenah Benching. But the literal meaning of the word, it's very hard to understand. What does it mean? Bless you. Uh, we're blessing Hashem. We have, nothing, okay. we have nothing to give Him. Blessing. Ve'akol o'yichlo mashkeem, v'varech aleim brocho kileles l'kame minin. Which pass also comes from Hadama. Really, you should make Bayri Priya Adama on the pass. And Bayri Priya Eitz on Yayin. Comes from the Eitz. Because Bayri Priya Adama it's a chash of a drink. It's not a regular drink. It's a very different wine. It's pass is so different than everything else. It gives that feeling of fullness that you don't have by eating fruit. And then we also have a pasuk. Yeah? Oh, back, I can see. Is that a word it says? No. Yeah, right, both psukim. Yeah. Interesting. COVID habracha, he, the tsoya prusus habracha, but mokum ha yofa shiba pass. So make it at the, not at the part which is baked well, but mokum shenefa yofa. And it's kasha yofa hate him afia, shu mufcha shiba pass. Not by the more soft part, it's not, it's more raw, it's not as baked well. If you look on a past prusa, if you take a piece, uh, uh, not a shalim, so the inside is soft. People like to eat from the inside, but the inside then was not considered the. Uh, that's not the part that's baked well because it's the inside. Sometimes it's doughy. It's not as baked well. Take from the top part where the fire baked it well. That's the part. If that was considered the yafa shall pass. But you have some people, they take the whole inside and they don't eat the crust. It's been the more well done. The yafa is well done. Well done, right. Yeah. Others say, she said, let's say, makam shemaschu likreim that you have to take from the part that started to bake first in the oven. For in our ovens, they put the pass on the very bottom of the oven. It sits in the bottom of the oven. In those days, in Zman HaShulchan Aleph. Um, which one guts first? Some say the top part bakes first because the, it's, it's, it's the exposed to the heat of the oven. The bottom is sitting on the floor of the oven, isn't it exposed? Because the fire was sitting on the floor of the oven. You just shovel it aside to put the bread there, so it's very hot. The Lord says the day Shneim. To eat the both days, if you say him, it's see they have passed, take from the side. The lacht it with the oil, with the mat, with the tachtin. Take from the side of the pass and cut from the bottom part and the top part. You see, when they cut, you know, when we talk about earlier that the, the higher part, the upper part is the first thing in that said, uh, the beginning 
that the part on the top is the, the Makam Akasha, they didn't make a slice through the whole thing. They would slice off the top. Not like we do in America, that we have slice like this. They would slice off from the top. That's how they would eat it. Slice the top part, that would be the Beitzeya to take that piece. The second opinion is saying, and there's two opinions in the second opinion, the second opinion is saying you have to take Beitzeya from the part that, that, that gets cooked first. So since it's a machlekes of the top or the bottom, take from the side and cut a piece of the top and the bottom with it. Even though the Iker is like the later opinion, that this is sticking onto the wall. But they still do oh, this. They still do this. Not only they still do even in, even the earlier days that they would they had a way how they would um put it on the side of the pad. Radia Sapas. It was a special unique thing. They would slap the they have a way of sticking on to the side of the oven. They would stick on the side of the oven the bread and it would bake. And since the fire was sitting on the bottom so the badim would cook first. So the ikka sheet is a second shita. That's what he says. Not only that, he says that even the, the first opinion that said that you have to take the part that cooks best, it was, it was usually the same spot. The spot that's going to cook first is also the spot that's going to cook best, which was then the badim. So the ikka halach is really the badim. The yifsa b'tzadche kenegada masvakeya there is, when you, when you have a bread, you have a lot of times that one side is nice and the other the side and the dough, right? sticks out like it pops out the dough. It doesn't have the crust. like So he says that first baked the part that is neat and nice, that's what baked. The other side, the dough couldn't go that direction. It went the other direction. It stuck out. So take a negative He's at side. He's the left face. The nitcha chacha haisa. I want. I saw once. Uh, uh, I, I looked this up about Redias Hapas. There are some people that are still doing this. Redias Hapas. So today you're showing a baking reset that the. You hear here? here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What it's are called, they? It's called uh, Olympia Pita. Olympia Pita. It still exists? On the right side. Olympia Pita. Olympia Pita. As, as you walk into the restaurant, and like a huge uh, oven, and the spots are over the thick and thin. He, he puts his hand inside and he. Yeah, and like a gloves. A gloves will get bored. Stick it in. It's yeah? You can see. I can walk yeah. there and see. Where is it? Huh? Coney Island between Avenue J and K. And on our on side. On, uh, on Coney Island. Yeah. It's, it's open till late? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, the Spanish, 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 I don't go. Where did you see them do this? The Shalai. The Shalai. They would do it. The Arabs. Oh, true. They were doing this. They would sell it. They would make fresh. They want to take us out. Yeah, so the Gemara calls us a Chachma. Because it's a Chachma to do it that it wouldn't fall down and burn. It was It's like an art. Ridiya Sapas was considered Asr on the Shabbos to do it because it was Chachma. So to, the, the, to peel it off, to take it off and without it getting stuck on and falling down, it was considered an art how to do it. Chach mehi ve'ena malacha. What the Lashen said. This is the bread that when... Sure, also. They couldn't wait for it to... to yeah, you can see it. Uh, to Stick it to the wall. It used to be the album there. Any chance to have a minion? That's fine. Uh, We're nine of them. Anybody upstairs? Jacob! Nobody's up.
David, you think he can fly over? We need you from Mingus. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just returned from uh, Washington, D.C. after being in Brooklyn. Oh, uh, so wow. So, 